Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a what's in my work bag video. I got this bag from my mom and I will say it is a dupe and I really love it. I'm not exactly sure where she got it so I will have to figure out where and I will link it below if I can find it. The first thing that I keep in here is my HP laptop. When I first got a laptop for school, I was gonna get a Mac, but I heard that in multiple colleges, they don't support a lot of the things that Mac uses. So HP or Windows was recommended. So that is why I got this one. I believe this one is the 10th generation and it's i7 or something like that. I'm not really sure, honestly. It's really cute. It looks like this on the inside. I took off the stickers, but there was stickers too. I love this laptop. I highly recommend it. And if you use a different laptop that you love, let me know because I might be getting a new one soon. This one is very old, but I do love it. The next thing that I keep in here is my iPad, which I love having this for additional editing and just whatever else I use it for. I think it's very handy just bringing it on the go. And then I bring a book of some sort. Right now I'm reading this shift, so that's the book that I have in here. This is a really great book. It's by Tinks and it's about relationships, self-worth, dating, and becoming the main character in your own life. So I highly recommend this book. Um, the book I was reading before this was Atomic Habits by James Clear. Also a really amazing book, but right now this is the one that I keep in here. I just keep a book just in case I get bored and I just want to take a break and read for a little bit. The next thing I keep in here is a journal and I love this journal. I have the bullet journal by Luke Durham. Honestly, I have no idea how to say it. The Luke Durham 1917 or whatever. They have this at Barnes and Noble. I'm not sure how many colors they carry it in at Barnes and Noble. Mine used to have black, but now they only have pink, but you can get them online on their website and they have pink, navy blue, and black. I'm pretty sure those are all the colors they carry right now, but this is a really great journal. I love it. It has all sorts of things in here. It has like the rulers and stuff for because it's a bullet journal. It also has a key that you can use and a future log. And then eventually I think it just goes right into the normal bullet journaling, but this is a really great journal. I highly recommend it for not only bullet journaling, but also just regular journaling. I love it so much. So, and to go with that, I also carry this Victoria's Secret little makeup bag. I'm pretty sure it's what it is, but I keep all of my colored pens in here, which I love so much. I use these colored Sharpie pens. I love them a lot. I also like using these little pens. They're called Noted and they're from Barnes and Noble. I got them in a set of like brown beige colors and I love them a lot. So I use those and then regular black pens as well. Like I said, I love journaling. I'm a very hands-on person. So using a journal is great for me and I love keeping colors of all different kinds. The next thing I keep in here is my Bible, which I love bringing this to a coffee shop just because it's a great place to study. I have the English Standard Version Crossway. This is what the side looks like. It's genuine leather and it's really simple. I love it. It's cute. This is just what the inside looks like. And I love this Bible a lot. The next thing I keep in here is my chargers, of course. I have my laptop charger and then my iPhone slash iPad charger in here. This is very important to have. I also keep hand sanitizer on me because I just like keeping this on me at all times. I have the Touchland kind, the watermelon. Um, I truly think this is overpriced, but my mom got this for me and she got the yellow one for herself because she thought it was cute when we were at Sephora. So that is why I have this one. I don't think it's worth $10 or however much it is, but I mean, if you like it, you like it. I also carry some headphones around. I usually carry the wire Apple headphones. I'm generic, I know, but I cannot find them. So right now I have the Empow earbuds. I think these are from Target, but I'm not sure. These are what they look like. They charge in here and 
just little earbuds. These are really convenient as well. I think they're really great quality when I'm not using my regular wired ones. And then I also keep some lip balm in here. Right now I have the Laneige grapefruit kind. When I went to Sephora the other day, I was gonna get the pink one, but they didn't have any, so I got the grapefruit one. And this is also pretty pricey. Um, there's some other really great lip balms out there, so not to say that this is the one you should get, but I do really like it. So if you want a high quality lip gloss, I do recommend, but there's also really high quality ones too that are not that much. And lastly, I keep my water cup in here. This doesn't have anything in it right now, but typically I have so much stuff in here that it doesn't fall out or anything or tip over. But I have the Yeti, I think this is 20 ounces. And honestly, this is the perfect size. I have a normal sized hand, so this just kind of shows you how big it is. And I love it so much. I got it from Sun and Ski and they had several different colors and sizes. I highly recommend this. I'm sure you can get it. Um, many other places too, but this is so cute and I prefer it much more than a Stanley cup um, I know that's controversial or whatever, but it comes with the straw and I think it's super cute and that wraps up my What's in my bag video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I can't wait to talk to you guys in the next video. I'll see you then